Welcome back to Red and Blue. I'm Weijia Jiang. New polling shows that GOP support for Donald Trump in the 2024 presidential election is waning. According to USA Today and Suffolk University, 31 percent of GOP voters said they would support Trump running again in 2024. 61 percent said they would rather support a different Republican nominee. CBS News political director Finn Gomez joins us now to put some context um, around this poll for us. Yeah, Finn, because, I mean, here we are. Mm -hmm. It's December 2022. Early. Um, it's early. So what do you make of these numbers? Uh, well, I spoke to a bunch of senior uh, st Republican strategists and also have been speaking to um, advisors to potential 2024 rivals to President Trump, former President Trump. And what, what these poll numbers show, according to the people I speak to, is that uh, he his, statu his status, his place in the party has weakened. Mm -hmm. um, he, he does not have that, 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 uh, that hold on the party that he once had, at least at this point. And, and uh, you know, but also conversely, you see Florida Governor Ron DeSantis rising. Mm -hmm. And also what they're seeing is a space for them to potentially run. I spoke to one advisor who said that it, who said he told me today it is a wide open race, especially after the midterms, especially after Georgia runoff, uh, especially after Trump's meeting with white nationalist Nick Quintus in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, there are unforced arrows and those once narrow lanes are widening. Um, I want to play something that uh, Senator Mitch McConnell said, because he clearly right. uh, thinks that Trump's uh, power has completely waned. Let's take a listen. Our ability to control the primary outcome was quite limited in 22 because of the support of the former president proved to be very decisive in these primaries. So my view was do the best you can with the cards you're dealt. Now, hopefully in the next uh, cycle, We'll have quality candidates everywhere and a better outcome. So he is going all in. This is not the first time that he has condemned President Trump. On the other hand, today, mm -hmm. um, Kevin McCarthy, Congressman Kevin McCarthy, said that Marjorie Taylor Greene, he right. agreed that she was just being facetious um, when she made those really outrageous comments that if she uh, had organized January 6th, she would have won, that the mob would have been armed. Why do you think that um, Congressman McCarthy is so hesitant to condemn uh, someone like that or the, the former president. Yeah, I'm not sure who uh, she said she was joking. I'm not sure who would find that funny aside from maybe uh, uh, the members, some members of the MAGA base. Uh, and uh, be, the, but simply this is a fact of uh, a political uh, vulnerability right now for, for McCarthy as he as he tries to get that speakership. He needs her support. He needs her uh, her votes that, uh, on that all important floor vote when it comes down to it. Um, he's getting threats from, you know, from multiple sides within his party. And if uh, if he came out strongly, um, he could risk losing that support. So uh, clearly he still needs it. He still needs that support. He still needs Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, and he's handcuffed otherwise. So there you go. So that um, Trump base, that support, it still matters, right? Is there a chance, in your opinion, that the former president could get more than 31 percent in the next year and a half or so? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he still has he has about fifty five million dollars. The Trump associated PAC has about fifty five million dollars. He still has a, 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 you know, about 30 percent of you know stronghold within the party that are, are truly uh, tr uh, Trump believers. Uh, and it's still very early. Yeah. And I know you'll be tracking it. Uh, Thank yes, you so much, Finn. Absolutely.